few people have asked me for an update on my trailer. Uh, I was about to order all the composite to do all the sides out this week and I had an accident and the money that I'd saved up for the composite I've accidentally bought this. You've probably seen it on my other videos, it's Chris's. He, um, he blew the back axle six months ago and he's been sat on his drive doing nothing so he, uh, he's finally put it up for sale so I bought it so that's where my, all my money's gone at the minute so I'll give you a look around this. Um, this is pretty much going to be a, a spring toy. I'm going to rattle on with the trailer, stick a NATO hitch on this and uh, get a couple of trips in that as well so I've got the option of the big camper or this. They're all classic insurance and oddball insurance so it's not expensive to do. So let's have a look around shall we? So we've got the uh, light upgrade kit. So it's LED side lights, indicators and the crystal headlight package with the winch bumper, steering guard, recovery lights and LED spotlights. It's also a uh, wide arch kit, aftermarket wheels and tyres. Uh, the Discover AT3s which are more of a, a road bound tyre. They're not so great in mud because they don't self clean but they're a good all rounder. And the general condition is, you know, it's it needs attention. Um, it was it's just his work rig, pretty much. So, I mean, there's, there's little bits. I'm going to put all new seats in because, as you can see, the seat's collapsed. And for what Discovery seats cost, I'll just replace the lot. But it's got DVD player, CB radio, you know, a few odds and ends. Um, all the switches and everything seem to be all right. And I've already got a checker plate panel for the back, so I'll build a drop-down table for my cooking and things. And I'm also going to do a boot floor uh, drawer system in the back of this. So, yeah. It's going to take some work, but I can't complain. And it's one that I've painted. This is one of my paint jobs. Originally it was a greyish colour, but I gave it a full blow over about two years ago to satin black. No, I think it sits well. And, pulled up this morning, looked at this, walked out the door, what's that there? Do you think he'll swap me for a disco? Dear, 24 volt. Not sure. Is that an FFR as well? But now that is a classic, classic piece. Look at this. I love all this. It's horrible in every way, but it's beautiful. I used to have the winterized one of these and uh, I only had it a few months and it never actually, I only drove it around the industrial estate a couple of times and I never actually got to take it on the road because uh, I bought my snatch and had to sell it to, to pay for the snatch to be done but it's not made for a fat lad that's for sure, it's made for a Gurkha or something <laughs> but yeah, I do like this I'm going to have to see how much he's got in this one and uh, get the disco sorted because this would make a lovely, lovely little camping truck for local local stuff. Now, only downside, it's a two and a quarter petrol, so heavier on petrol than the V8, and uh, couldn't pull the skin off a custard. So that would have to either be the V8 that I've got laying around. That's uh, I was going to put up for sale. I've got the V8 and LT85, I think it is, the heavy duty gearbox out of the ambulance. Just everything, all out in one, radiator. Every, everything, it's all, all there, I need to sell that because uh, I need to get some money back in from buying that Discovery and then I can crack straight back on with the trailer again. So, but, yeah, half a ton. <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? So, yeah, you've. Uh, I'll put a link up to the Bug Out Vehicles UK group if anybody wants to be on there. There is a couple of Mickey Mouse copycat groups, but I'll put you the link to mine on there and I will also, I've got a like page on Facebook and I'm on Instagram as well so I'm going to start doing a little bit more with the social media I'm going to put a bit more effort into the channel I've got a few long distance trips, I've got um, a couple of trips out to Wales one of them is just going to be for a couple of us so we can do a proper, proper video you can't film a good YouTube video when there's a lot of you because everybody that's not filming will just get pissed off at stopping all the time to move cameras and retake shots and reverse back up the lane and back in again and you know so we're going to do just a YouTube just two or three of us going there uh, we'll do a general trip with um, a few of the lads that came last year maybe a couple of others there's quite a few people wanted to go on that trip 
I've got a trip at the end of the month. I'm going to go from the Overland show at Strat Stratford upon Avon. Really good show if you haven't been. It's it's really nice. It's not commercial at all, which is lovely. Um, we're going to go from there, and I've got the following week off work. So we're going to drive um, straight down to Dover, get across, get through France as quick as possible because the police there are knobheads, and we're going to do as many countries as we can up to Germany and uh, see what shows are on in Germany the following weekend and uh, see a few sites, go on a couple of the battlefield tours and then zip straight back over ready for work the following Monday. So that should be a good one. Also I'm going to try and, um, I don't know if I'm going to get time for it this year but I really really would like to get a trip right up north on the islands around Scotland. I don't know whether I'm going to take the bike for that though because that would be a nice one to do a, a bike camp because uh, I don't know if you've seen it and I haven't done any videos on it yet I've got a BMW GS and I'm getting all the luggage for that one and the off-road tyres so that's going to also be a bit of a green lane in you know, adventure bike So, uh, and as, as for that trip in Germany we're chucking the bikes in the back of a, a Sprinter and we're going we're gonna to hit that one so just a few, a few things there I'm probably boring you to death bending your ear but thanks for watching it that's why I haven't done anything on the trailer it was going to be this weekend I was working on it but unfortunately I bought the Disco and at the price I got it for, it's worth tinkering with and driving for three or four months and uh, I'll end up with a better setup for it. So I've got a few bits and pieces I need to sell, like I said, I've got engine, gearbox and an old motorbike to get rid of and then we'll be hitting everything hard because it's coming up to the weather where we can do something. So.